made a video in quite some time. Um, actually, a lot has happened since I last made a video. Um, so, let's see. I don't even remember the last time I made a video, but let me just check my phone real quick. Um, I'm just trying to see how much my weight has been different. Um, I believe the last time I made a video, I was somewhere in the 140s. Let me see. Yeah, I think it was like 141 point something. Um, I didn't make a video the following week, but I was... Hold on. Sorry, I'm playing a video. <laughs> okay. I was 139.2 somewhere around the end of March. and Mid to end of March. Um, I don't know what my hair is doing. <laughs> um, so... I basically had been doing really well. Um, I was exercising like three to four times a week at least, and I just felt really good like I was getting back into a routine. Then my fiance and I found a house that we really liked, and we put an offer in, and um, we actually are going to be closing on the house uh, March 29th, so it's very exciting. Um, but the only thing is that we've had so much to do with the house, um, filling out paperwork and just having to be places after work that I haven't been able to go to the gym consistently. And um, on the weekends, I've basically been just like eating whatever I want. I would, wouldn't go as far as to say I'm binging, but when I go to like, we were eating out twice, like lunch and dinner on Saturday and then lunch and dinner on Sunday. And... Um, I would not get healthy options. Like I got um, P.F. Chang's. I don't know if anybody lives in like Massachusetts, Boston area. I don't actually know if there's like a chain, but I know there's one in Boston and there's one in Danvers. Um, and it's like, it's Chinese food, but it's, they have like American dishes and I get the lo mein. Amazing. And I had it two weekends in a row and, um, what else did I eat yesterday? I had McDonald's two weekends ago for breakfast, and I felt like absolute crap after I ate that. But So just to give you an example, I've just been eating um, terrible, terrible, terrible foods, and I've been slacking off with lunches, and I've been buying my lunch at work, um, and I'll be going to like Dunkin' Donuts, and I'll get some type of breakfast sandwich. So haven't been doing well. Um, I don't even think, yeah, so after I weighed in at 139.2, I had just been eating crap and crap and crap, and um, I don't know, I feel like I was just so preoccupied with the stress of buying a house and all that, that I really, I kind of put it on the back burner, which is fine because I know I have time to, to go back and everything like that and really focus on weight loss, but I can't always put it on the back burner and then be like, oh, I'll come back to it. It still has to be a focus. There's other, there are other things that go on in life that you need to, you need to know how to multitask. So, so it's exciting, but at the same time depressing because I was back in the 139s. Um, I had finally gotten out of the 140s and now I weighed myself today and I was actually surprised. Um, I was only 140.9. So it is a gain of 1.7 since mid-March, but you know what? I don't really care. Um, since we are buying a house, we're trying to cut costs that we really don't need, so I'm not going to be going to Weight Watchers meetings anymore, but I will still be following the program. I know the program enough to not have to go to meetings, but I'll still be weighing in at home. Um, my weigh-in days, I, I may change, but for now they're going to stay on Sundays. Um, so that's my weigh-in again. That is my official weigh-in. 140.9, um, which isn't too bad. Honestly, it could be a lot worse. Um, I had terrible food last night and I drank, so um, yeah, it could be worse. And I also want to show you something. I can hear her coming up the stairs. Come here. Hi, buddy. You know Wubba. So this is my buddy. Oh, he's going to sit at the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a good boy. He just got a baby sister. Let me show you a picture of her since the little bugger will come over here. So a lot's happened. I've got a house and a dog. <laughs> uh, let me show you a picture of her. She is a boxer. That's Molly. She's a boxer. She's just under four months old and she's so cute, but she's such a little demon. She is not potty trained yet, so my poor parents 
Um, they said that we could, just because when we move out, I want him to have a sister. Look at him. <laughs> I want him to have a sister and just have some company for when we're gone. Um, and she is so playful, but she pees and poops all over my parents' house. And we've been trying so hard to potty train her. We got her a crate. And, I mean, she's not too happy when we put her in it, but it's very hard. It's hard to potty train a dog. We were lucky enough for him, he came potty trained because he was already 13 months when we got him. So, I mean, he had been he had been neutered. He had been all of his shots were up to date. So, um, that's that. Um, but, yeah, Molly is absolutely adorable. We actually just took her to the vets today, and she got some shots, and... Um, She's doing okay, but I think she's probably laying downstairs because she's upset. Sorry for the break. So, interestingly enough, um, look who came upstairs. That's Molly. Come here. Come here, show you what I So this is my baby girl, Molly. She got some shots today, so she's probably not feeling so good. But she's so cute. Look at her little face. She wants to go back on the couch. Okay. Maybe not. But, um, no. she just wants to sit in Mama's lap. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update that we have this little new addition. We are buying and closing on a house April 29th and um, finally getting back on Weight Watchers. Now that kind of the chaos is over, um, it's just kind of the transition period of packing and everything like that. And, um, yeah, I really am sorry that I disappeared for like two weeks or maybe even three weeks. But... I just wanted to let you guys know that I am still here. I am got off track for a little bit, but I'm back on the wagon. And um, a lot has changed. But not really. <laughs> it's just for the better. Um, so that's it. I will come up, come at you with a new update on the following next Sunday. And um, I hope everybody has a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.